Marine signal light calculations, definition, and notification of luminous range recommendations are specified in IALA, International Association of Marine Aids to Navigation and Lighthouse Authorities. IALA Recommendation Document E200-3 also specifies the procedures to measure and document light intensities. One piece of equipment necessary to record the data is a light meter that measures the candela output. A candela is a unit of luminous intensity in a particular direction. An indexing table is also required to rotate the lens at various angles. This allows measurements to be taken in line with the center of each flash panel and at incremental angles as the beam rotates away from the meter. The light sensor is positioned at a vertical height level with the focal plane of the lens. The meter is calibrated at a given distance from the lens and measures the candela output of the optical panel. The lens tested in this equipment is a reproduction sixth order rotating lens with six optical or flash panels. One optical panel is measured at a time. The remaining optical panels that are not being measured are covered to eliminate any ambient light. The lamp specification is the first data to be recorded. The wattage, voltage, lamp style, filament style, and lumen output are all specified by the manufacturer. The candela output was recorded with the light meter. The 100 watt bulb has a luminous intensity output of 134 candela, which we will refer to in a later test. The peak intensity is measured with the meter in line with the front of the optical panel. Various wattages were tested from 40 to 200 watts. Peak intensities were measured from 4500 to 35,000 candela respectively. The bare light source of the 100 watt bulb is 134 candela. The intensity after passing through the optical panel is 15,224 candela. This demonstrates the efficiency and power of the Fresnel lens, increasing the intensity by over 100 times. Next, the peak intensities were measured from each of the six optical panels. The 100 watt light source was used. This demonstrates the consistency of each flash panel averaging 15,265 candelas. The form factor of the beam projected by the optical panel is determined by taking various light readings as the lens is rotated. This animation demonstrates how the light meter is positioned in line with the center of the bullseye to achieve the peak intensity. The lens is rotated at incremental angles and readings are taken as the intensity decreases. The peak intensity of 15,000 candela slowly diminishes as the beam is rotated away from the meter. It eventually drops to below 100 candela, which is lower than the bare light source at 134 candela. This demonstrates the eclipse portion of the lens where no light is directed toward the observer. The data is then inputted into a graph. The vertical lines demonstrate the angle of the beam in relation to the meter. The horizontal lines are the intensity of the beam ranging from 0 to 16,000 candela. The center of the graph at 0 degrees shows the peak intensity of 15,244 candela and how the intensity drops off as the flash panel rotates away from the meter. The corrected intensities are then calculated using the form factor data collected along with the speed of rotation of the lens and the light losses due to the lantern room glass. Coast Guard document CG250-37, section 5-4, 
calculations of Blondel ray factors and effective beam candle powers. This formula is used to calculate the form factor. Calculations are as follows. F being the form factor, theta O is the half beam width. The half beam width is determined by rotating the lens until the peak intensity drops to one half. In this example, it would be half of 15,224 candela, or 7,612 candela. LN is the natural log, I is the intensity of the offset angle, and IO is the peak intensity. Working through the formula, this beam has a form factor of 24. The final step is to perform the Blondel ray calculation. This formula takes into account the form factor from the previous calculation, the speed of rotation, and the light losses due to the transmission through the lantern room glass. In this chart on the top line, R refers to the speed of rotation of the lens, or RPM, revolutions per minute, F is the form factor, and B-R is the Blondel ray correction factor. The form factor in our example is 24. Five speeds will be used from 1 through 5 RPM. To demonstrate the formula, 1 RPM will be used. Going back to the Blondel ray chart, F, form factor of 24, multiplied by 1 RPM would be 24. The closest number of 25 on the chart specifies a Blondel ray correction factor of 0.627. Interpolating the exact number would be 0.634. Peak intensity of 15,224 candela and the lantern room glass correction factor of 0.88. Working through the formula, the adjusted intensity is 0.88 times 0.634 Blondel ray factor times the peak intensity would be equal to 8,494 candela for the corrected intensity. Each of the lamp wattages along with the five speeds of rotation are used to calculate all the corrected intensities. The nominal range table is then used to determine the range of the lens for each of the intensities. This chart shows how the nominal range decreases as the speed of rotation increases. The corrected range for the 100 watt light source is 14 nautical miles at 1 RPM and 12 nautical miles at 5 RPM. Due to the harsh environmental conditions, temperature fluctuations, and impossibility of maintaining museum standard conditions, Fresnel lenses will not be placed in lantern rooms or be relit for navigational purposes in or outside of lantern rooms. Lenses will be placed in museum settings or restored keeper's quarters with controlled access by staff, theft prevention, and security safeguards. The ability to protect and preserve historic Fresnel lenses by removing them from lantern rooms and placing them in museum controlled environments could be accomplished and the lighthouse organizations around the country would have the option to exhibit a reproduction lens in their lighthouse as an aid to navigation.